Welcome to the GAC Series Countdown to First Serve here in 2021. And we are beginning our countdown in the Western Division of the Great American Conference in Ada. We get to visit with the new head coach of the East Central Women's Volleyball Team, Coach Cherie Lindsay. Coach, welcome to the GAC. I know that uh, most recently you, you have spent time at Division I Seattle. Uh, you also had your playing career at Division I Prairie View A&M and, and some stops in between. But welcome to the GAC. How did you get here? Um, I actually uh, was talking to my boss um, when I was at Seattle U, and I was just telling him, like, as much as I enjoyed being his first assistant, I, I needed a program of my own. I don't I don't know that I have the temperament to be an assistant for too long. Um, so <laughs> uh, we kind of talked about it. And um, and this is this is kind of where I ended up after, you know, a couple of interviews and everything. It just felt like the right fit. Well, Coach, I know that you, you signed a, a number of players, nine in particular, and, and that's a part of transitioning and in, in bringing in a new coach to the program. You have some returning players as well. Uh, at East Central, it's it's a, a volleyball program that it's been a number of years, back to 2013, since the Tigers have had a winning record in conference play, and and uh, it's a program that is looking to, to turn the corner now, I'm sure, with you coming in. I'm excited about getting to watch your temperament on the court, too, as you're talking about that. <laughs> uh, that could be fun to watch. We have some interesting coaches in the GAC, no uh, no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, talk to us about some of those returnees. You know, you, you have some players coming back to the program in orange and black, and, you know, it, it's one of those things, too. You, you look at the roster, and, and uh, with you, you almost have a, a whole starting lineup with the variety of players you bring back, and Smith is a middle, and and uh, coming back also with uh, Duncan as a setter, Robertson a uh, defensive specialist. Like I said, you, you have somebody in all those positions. Talk about some of those returnees. So we have some really strong returners um, who we have kind of put into different situations and kind of seen really what their strengths are. Um, just because you might have played a position last year doesn't exactly mean that that's where you're going to play this year. So I kind of wanted to see how versatile they were, um, kind of see where their where their skill set was um, to begin with when I got here in March and we got to have four whopping practices before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, we kind of moved some people around and did some things. But, um, you know, Aaliyah, um, she's a right side. She's a solid right side. She has been a solid right side. Uh, well, she transferred in last year. So, um, you know, big block over there, um, big lefty. So she's going to be fun to watch this year. Um, you know, Kelly Smith, she also provides a really good block as well. Um, then, of course, when you're talking about setting, I mean, Sid is any coach's dream. Um, you know, she's a she's a senior this year, but I'm hoping that she takes that, you know, next year to stay, um, stay and do some setting for us. She's just a solid player in general um she brings she provides a whopping 4.0 to the comp to our um to our team which is really important to me uh, but then when it comes to just location and setting and just tempo all of that together she's she's just fantastic so um looking forward to her helping run my my offense as well so some really some really strong returners coming back for sure and four seniors on that roster, a number of juniors, which is generally indicative of transfer students, a number of freshmen as well. Uh, you signed three freshmen and six juniors uh, coming in for uh, for East Central this season. We're speaking now with Sheree Lindsay, the head volleyball coach at East Central in her first season. The Tigers, according to the preseason coaches poll, pick sixth in the Great American Conference Western Division. Let's talk about some of those new players, transfers, and freshmen alike. Yeah, so um, I came in in March. And so with the volleyball recruiting, it's a little bit more difficult to bring in the young talent um, that point in the recruiting season. And so um, I have a background with um, junior colleges, and I think you can really find some fantastic talent out of JUCOs. Um, they come in with just a different type of vibe, that different hunger that, that you know, they come in ready to go. So um, we brought in some really solid JUCO players, uh, mostly from Texas, a um, couple from, you know, the a couple from Colorado. I'm a little biased, <laughs> but, you know, just some really, really good, um, solid skill oriented players who can kind of help us get that quick bounce back. Um, but for me personally, I love freshmen, um, especially in, in, two, in four year programs. I love bringing in freshmen. Um, I want to see you grow for four years into my program. Um, when I go and do my recruiting, I look for very specific things. And so um, I think that I found that this year, <laughs> luckily, it's such which such like small time to recruit. Um, found some really, really amazing freshmen um, 
that I think didn't even know how talented they truly were until we had this little off season, which wasn't supposed to be off season, but this little <laughs> off season that we had. And I think they kind of shocked themselves with how high they were jumping at the end, how hard they were hitting, like just how much of a factor that they've been just with some inner squad scrimmaging and stuff. But it's, it's, it should be really fun. I'm excited to see what they do. Well, the season gets underway pretty quickly near the end of the month of January and you go on the road for your first two matches. Uh, no, Easy opening to the schedule for you. You travel to Northwestern and then to Southwestern to start your season. How much do you know about the GAC now? You've had some time to to study and learn and, and uh, talk about the opening to your schedule. I watch a lot of film. Uh, I watch probably a criminal amount of film. Um, but I, it's just kind of what we have done in the program just to kind of help them to understand how to watch film, help t- teach them how to use film to scout the other team, but also how to scout themselves correctly. So, um, and Volumetrics obviously does a fantastic job of helping them to do that. And so um, I know I've, I've, you know, done my homework and everything like that. I actually coached against a uh, Coach Fred over at um, Northwestern um, when he was at when he was in Salina and I was at Bethany. So it's been like a long time rivalry <laughs> like in our, with our meetings. But um, great coach. I know he's very strategic. Um, you know, he's he's been around it a lot. And so um, I'm excited, though. I think that when you come into a situation where no one is really expecting as much from you, it gives the girls kind of that freedom to really put themselves out there and see what they can do in the conference. And I mean, this has kind of been the perfect situation. I, they come in, I get a whole semester of just practice with them instead of them coming straight in and playing. Um, and then we turn around and then I get I get to put ourselves against a really strong our, our side of the conference is pretty strong um, and put ourselves against those teams like one of which had won the conference last year. So let's see how we measure up and let's see what we can do. And they're hungry and they're ready. They're tired of playing each other, <laughs> but they're they're hungry and they're ready. And I'm, I'm excited for them. So um, we don't look at any any opponent with any type of fear or anything like that. We're we going to do what we have to do and, and see what we can do out there. Well, I look forward to watching you all this season. Success to you and your program. Coach Cherie Lindsay in her first season with East Central. Again, the Tigers, according to the GAC coaches poll, picked sixth in the Western Division of the Great American Conference. Coach, thank you for taking time with us today as we count down to first serve in the GAC. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.